Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here. Today's special day in lessons. We are continuing our Pokemon um, Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. And let's just do a quick team recap for you all because we trained up. Was we have Shelly holding the luck since luck and sense level 55 with dive, bone rain, cut, and surf. We have Luca level 56 with body slam, cross poison, rock climb, sludge bomb. We got Dan level 56 with bite, thunder punch, ice beam, elect or charge beam. Murr with strength, steel wing, U turn, focus, energy. Bulbous with leap blade, defog, giga drain, and rock smash. And Cheryl with night slash, air slash, fly, and shadow punch. Today, we are going to get all the way to Volkner and hopefully, maybe get a chance at fighting Volkner or I may leave you off on a cliffhanger. Who knows? Let's get this show on the road as, you know, we just got to finish up this route and then just head into the gym. So, I am very excited to see what this may lead to as Florentino leads off with Anthros, nickname Sparks, uh, check out Not So Quiet with because um let's just say she has a sleep lock going on probably not right now but pro well i actually sorry i know not right now but she had a sleep lock and she had an amphros so yeah anyway go go follow her that's all i'm saying oh already popping a swap and developer oh my gosh this did not take less this took less than like 20 seconds for the ai to be like yeah nope Okay, we're just gonna send in Dan then. Didn't take, le it took 20 seconds for the AI. It's just like, let me send this an Afro so you can get your plug in for another person. And yeah, although I'm really, I only plug people who I actually watch and feel are good. So that's, that's why I'm plugging. Um, and that's not even my own plug, cause I'm not shameless, yes. Okay, anyway. Um, Shelly, 825, Dan, 825, Steelix, what is, okay, that is the third trainer in a row that has had a Steelix. I don't mind it, because that means Shelly can get experience like no other, but that is the third trainer in a row with the Steelix. Each one descending one level. Like, that's weird. That is weird. Like, we kicked, the end of last episode had a Steelix on it. The, the, like, there was two Steelixes, so... Um, yeah, either this is the foreshadowing section where we're going to go against uh, Steelix in the Elite Four, or this is something else. Kabuthops. 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 And I totally did not mean to not swap, but that's okay, because Rain dances up and you're going to help me. Yes. Okay. I did not think that it was that was going to happen. I need to turn down the brightness on my phone because my phone is heating up because I'm watching Kawhi's live stream right now. Which will tell you exactly when I'm recording this, but whatever. Um, and I am keeping a live stream up, so if anything kind of crazy cool happens, not kind of, anything crazy cool happens, I can comment on it. Because um, she's about to fight the fifth gym leader, because um, she's playing Pearl, so she's playing almost the same game. So in this, in the fifth gym leader in this game is Fantina, so gotta give her some support by playing the same game. You know, get that spiritual bond that doesn't really work but whatever anyway <laughs> bye sparks i guess sparks the ampros is dead now well that was a short-lived thing but that's that's fine um hey traveler i would like to battle i'm going the other way so obviously i'm a traveler let's see what do you got you got two mons and it's gonna be an elimise something i can easily take out perfect i love when things are easy to take out because it's gonna be like the Dark Souls meme all over again. I like when things are easy because they're easy. That is, I literally said that way too many times in the law or in the um, Dark Souls Let's Play. I like it when they're easy because they're easy. Like, no. I wonder why somebody else would think it would be awesome to have something be easy. But it's also because I'm so used to having difficult scenarios, which make it great when. You have an easy scenario on the rise, you know? That's, that's, that was the whole point in that, but that never really got it to be a thing. And Polion, we're gonna stay in! Yay, Shelly's gonna, we're gonna hit the goal and have Shelly go to level 56 before the gym. Yes, okay. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, we missed. I totally thought we had that, but that's okay though, cause it just means that we just get to stay in there for longer. Oh, that's, uh, okay. 
I was gonna say that looked that looked like it was draining really fast and like it was on par to being a crit. But luckily this Empoleon goes down. This Empoleon's level 52. Okay. Wow, okay. Was not expecting that Empoleon to be level 52. But indeed it was. So Empoleon faints. Shelly gains 2340 experience, bringing her to level 56 as we're gonna go in to Sunny Shore Gym. Now, I don't think Sunny Shore Gym's gonna have something too terrible for us. I think that. It'll be pretty manageable, which would be nice because stuff being manageable is so fine and dandy. It's a-okay with me. I, I'm okay with stuff being fine and manageable. Okay, anyway. No, but we're going to keep this going. Keep the party rolling as... You know, we restore our health. And I have no idea where we're going. But we're going to try to find the gym. Can we find it first try? No, that's the lighthouse. That's not the gym. I think the gym's up here, though. Okay, well, we got an item, which is the sharp beat, which will help flying type attacks. Which, speaking of flying types and stuff, we should probably start getting, like, ready for D Elite 4. Because that's kind of coming up real soon. There's the gym. Yo, Aya, he hasn't come back yet. When he does, you know what you've got to do. Give him a battle that's so hot, it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm turning on you. Oh, don't I have to go to, like... I remember having to go to the lighthouse, I think. And then you talk to him at the lighthouse, and then he goes to the gym. And then, but after the gym, I gotta get my encounter in Sunny Short Gym. Oh yeah, so this is definitely the right way when it's completely leading you astray. I, oh, no, 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 no. Hitting wrong buttons is so fun. Hitting wrong buttons is so fun. Because of course, of course I hit the wrong button. Like, I, I am like, let's go to Volkner. I see him, he's straight ahead. But he's also like, not straight ahead. Okay. So. I need, I need Cryptic Flash to be doing this. So, you're my latest challenger. Up against the Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. And I'm all done renovating the gym. So I don't need to be here. More than anything, I just want battles that thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything into this arsenal on you. Then leap on you. Okay, you know, yeah, Volkner, I don't need you to leap on me. Um, that's definitely not what we need um but we're gonna win we're but I, I am destined to win now once we beat this eighth gym leader it's game over so honestly speaking i don't see any way volkner wins actually that's a lie he could have like four legendaries because he has four pokemon so they could win with four legendaries but even then oh hi he finally came back he seemed very to be feeling upbeat, too. I have a hunch he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's so excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle so hot, it'll reignite his passion for battling. All right, Hotshot, I'll be waiting for you in the Pokemon League. Yay, Flint. We love having to see you at the Pokemon League. Honestly, Flint is going to be scary. Like, if I'm going to be honest, I think that I'm probably one of the most scared of Flint. What the heck? How have I really not... Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Let me check your trainers. Let's see how many badges. One, two, three, four. Wow, you already got seven? This means you have to beat this gym leader, and you're on your way to the leagues next. That... That also means this is the last time I'll be able to give you advice. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the advice. 
Don't have to give me advice. Why can't I? Oh! Oh, I'm dumb. I figured it out. I figured it out. I feel dumb now. Do 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 do. Maybe if I was paying attention. Oh, dude, I am just making all them mistakes. Ah, nope. I made all them mistakes, and this is the first puzzle in this gym. The fact that it took me had to take me like two minutes to complete that first puzzle. I probably look like the dumbest person in the universe, but that's okay. So, Swellow's level 54. That is the first leader or air person in this gym. Do I mind that? Oh, maybe. Because close combat is going to do a lot. Oh, that did way less than I... I was anticipating, like, double that. Then again, it's not stab, so maybe that's why. But Swellow... Die, 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 die. Yeah, we one-shot you, Swellow. 1,873. Who do I think, Volkner? Who do I think I should... Use, oh, I don't know. Uh oh. Wait, no, that's good because I can leap over, get around. One thing I do love about Sino is they really kind of made all the trainers where you had to fight them. Like, in a lot of games, you don't have to fight all the trainers. And Sinnoh did that. Sinnoh was like, let me make a gym where you have to fight all the gym trainers. Because all the gym trainers are important as well. So they gave the gym trainers a purpose. Like, before, yeah, the gym trainers were there to just be there. But now the gym trainers are there because you have to fight them. Like, they're not there anymore for your convenience. They're there because they're going to be a challenge. Oh my gosh, speaking of... Okay, well, got hit with recoil. It's not even gonna trigger our move, which is great. And schoolboy Jill is gonna be in the back. So, don't... I can't forget that we have a Sunny Shore gym and, or Sunny Shore encounter, too. Because I will forget that. We have hyper potions galore because we bought a lot, so... Whenever we're down 100 points, which... Is kind of often now. Yeah! We got it figured out, figured out, figured out. We got it figured out. Yeah! Okay. So, this guy has three mons. Gonna lead off with a Dust Ox, which I don't mind at all. I really don't, though. Dust Ox is easy. That's easy money. That's easy money. Doesn't attack and hit very hard. Unless you have... Well, even Fissure doesn't affect me. So, doesn't hit very hard. It might take more than one hit, yeah. Ooh, resisted gunk shot. Gunk shot's a good move, but it's resisted, so I I don't mind it. And we are gonna kill this freaking dust ox with the surf. What is next for our girl Shelly? Our girl Shelly is gonna take on a Dragonite. So sorry, Kawhi. I have to I have to kill this. I'm so sorry. I don't want to now because you know, but I have to kill this. It's I, it's the only way I can make it through. It is literally the only way I can make it through. So, let's just kill this thing. Get this over quickly, please. I mean, because you have multi-scale and you might live. Ah! Get this over quickly, get this over quickly. Thank you. I just didn't want it to live because that would have been sad. That would have been even more gut-wrenching. Uh, Star Raptor is next. Okay, we're going to stay in. Star Raptor is a cool mon, though. I will give cred with that. Star Raptor is an amazing Pokemon. We're going to Ice Beam it because... Ice Beam is going to do more damage than Charge Beam, I think. Um, Ice Beam is 90 base power. Charge Beam, or, well, 180. Whereas Charge Beam is 75. Yeah, that's 150. So 180 to 150, I take the 180. Much better. And Designer Jasmine faints. As Dan is going to get close to level 57 as well. And you're a trainer too. Wow, there's three trainers in here. I wasn't expecting that. Although you've got four mons, you lead off with a Houndoom. I'm just gonna clap. Because Houndoom literally is gonna get clapped. So bye Houndoom. Oh maybe not. Did I was I did I get it wrong? 
Am I about to get clapped? Probably not. I mean, we're gonna hit ourselves in confusion because we do that every time, but. Oh, we didn't, okay. <laughs> I'm like, we get hit in our confusion every time. Didn't get hit. Okay, that happens though. Cacturn is next. Okay, we're 100% swapping. We're not dealing with a Cacturn, okay? Like, that is the only Pokemon. Oh no, Whale Lord is the Pokemon I don't want to deal with the most. But, Cacturn is a Pokemon that I don't, like, that I just don't want to get hit with a Grass type move with. Although I went into a Ghost type this week to Dark. Good job, John. That's okay. That only is natural of me. So 1819, Vile Plume is next, which means we're going to keep battling because it's a Vile Plume. And there's no reason not to keep battling when you have a Pokemon that's super effective. Ah, bye, Vile Plume. Crit. Dead. 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 For Relegator is the next Mon. And for Alligator is just 100% Bulbous' responsibility. Responsibility. Because it's magic. You know. You couldn't believe it's not yours. Anyway. Um, Bulbous. Kill this for Alligator. Please. I even said please, so please do it. I said please, and you still didn't do it. As it dives. Jeez. We're faster. We're faster. Let's waste the rock smash because we're never going to click it anyway. Dive is going to do absolutely, like, no damage. And I'm going to just rock smash again because there's no reason to waste my grass type stab moves when I can kill it with a rock smash. And we're going to go ahead and continue this journey as Lady Kate is gone out of the way. And we're going to go into the final, like, final room, I think. I feel like I have to fight you anyway, but we're going to fight you there so that I don't have to fight you anywhere else. As you have an Ambipom. And what do I feel about Ambipom? I actually have no feelings about Ambipom. I feel like Ambipom is a good mon for us to be fighting. Oh, Blaze Kick. Even better. Even better. Hit us with them resisted moves. Just don't burn us and we're good. Snap us with them resisted moves and we're okay. Ambipom is going to not die. I mean, I didn't expect Ambipom to die, to be honest. Judgment is a normal type stab move. This might hurt. Okay, I was like, you are a special attacker, or you are a physical attacker, hitting me with a special type move. How are you doing that much? It was great. That would make sense. That would only make sense, but I didn't think about that. Designer Chloe is d -d 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 dead, and... We're gonna go heal again, because, um, yeah, that crit judgment... Imagine if you are a special attacker. Shelly would have died. Ugh. Shelly would have died right there. I can't even think about that. Oh, I don't want to give it an item. I want to put it in the front of the party. Because Dan deserves to be in the front of the party sometimes. Oh, duh. Hold up. I, I keep forgetting I can do that. I keep forgetting. That's the only thing. I'm like, I want to get like a path to another place. But I keep forgetting I can get off of a path and move to the other path. Like, oh my god, another Steelix. Why? Why so many Steelix? Four Steelixes in two episodes. I mean, like, okay. I guess Steelix is that is just that Pokemon in these last today that's just gonna show up every five minutes of my life, but can't complain because it's a Steelix. Electric, electric was weekend, and Surf is gonna oh go. Actually, oh that was a voice. That was a voice raise. Actually, I don't know if it will. Okay, it did. Steelix just has bad special defense. It's Mega Form has 95 base special defense, though. So it's Mega Form's got special defense, but not its regular form. Manectric. Okay, we're going to stay battling against this thing. I don't want... I like... I switch in to... Freaking... 
um, Raichu to gain experience. And then we run into a Steelix. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> you know, Shelly just has a good typing. It's only weak to grass and has an immunity to electric. So. Like, typings mean a lot in the Pokemon games. Like, they do. They really mean a lot. So, having two Mons with one weakness is fantastic. And especially when one of the weaknesses, like, they they uh, help each other out because one of the Mons' weaknesses happen to be the other Mons' resistance. So, if I ever run into it, like, I think it's just, what has carried this team, I'm going to be 100% honest, it's Synergy. The team synergy is amazing. Like, I can go into one Pokemon for some sort of utility purpose, and we're fine. Like, because, I mean, another Typhlosion. So, another Mon that I'm going to have to literally swap because of utility purposes. But, like, Shelly can completely trash fire types beyond belief. So, any fire type that comes out, Shelly can just handle it. Hence why I gave Shelly the level, like, level 55. Because I knew that I was going to use Shelly enough to where it would actually catch up and potentially be ahead of the entire team. That's what it did. It caught up and went ahead of the entire team. Another crit? Why? Why am I getting crit? I mean, it's a 6.5% chance. Or 6.25%. So it's not like it's a bad, terrible chance. But Typhlosion is dead. Like I said, can handle those types that some of the other members get really killed by. What's next? A Salamence. And then, Salamence, Dan is just here like, I have Ice Beam. I can chill. All these legendary Pokemon, get out of my face. Like, honestly, that's how I see Dan slash Sparks. Is like, oh, legendary Pokemon, get out of my face. Like, I don't need, I don't need that. Goodbye, Salamence. You are d -d -d dead. And level 57 we go. Designer Cristiano is gonna do that. Now. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We can walk under that? I didn't know that. That's, that's very new info to me. So yeah, I think I have to go around, right? I swear I have to go around. And a Regirock! Yay! More things that I have to see. But a Regirock... Regi Regirock, I can actually swap in to Bulbas here. Because even though Bulbas doesn't resist, Bulbas is super effective and can get good drain a lot of health from this. Perfect, I wasted Fake Out. I wasted a fake out turn. We'll take that. But we can get drain health back and we shouldn't have to shouldn't have to freak out about where we're gonna go. Yeah. Focus blast. E. Luckily our physical attacker and focus blast shouldn't do that much, but still, e yikes. And we're gonna just giga drain again. Might as well get this Regirock out of our face because we don't want to deal with too many Regirock in our lifetime. So this episode's gone on for actually only 24 minutes. So we can definitely go ahead and fight the gym leader. I didn't I didn't know how long this episode's been for, so I wanted to make sure before I was like, yeah, let's go get this gym leader. And another Sparks. Sparks is just popping up all over the place today. Um Okay, Shelly. Oh, payback. That shouldn't hurt. That really is gonna not... Well, Charlie gains 220-something, and we defeated Antoinette. 2028, that's what it was. I was like, oh, I can't remember. Okay, when we go down here... 
Oh, wait. Huh? Okay, yes. We did have to go down there. I was like, I, I swear we had to go down there. So I fought the... I like, I'm glad I fought the guy as quickly as I could reasonably do it. Okay, shh. Shoot, I have no idea who to lead with. Our team is so weird, but it's so good. It's like, it, it's this weird, good oddity. Okay. All right, challenge him. It is not often I see some trainers manage to come challenge me, but they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. Sigh. I'm Bulkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but anyway, I guess we better get this battle done. Like, I don't really want to do this. Because I know I'm going to overpower you and win, but let's just have this battle. Okay, Buckner! That probably was so loud. I'm so sorry. Getting ready for this battle stance. Okay. Lenoon! You're dead. I got my eyes on you, Lenoon. This is your lowest level Pokemon. It's level 53. His ace is going to be level 58, and it was calculated. And if it isn't 58, it'll be 57. But it should be 58. Oh, with the confusion! Hit us with the confusion! Oh, we better not hit ourselves because I feel like we will because... Uh, I get it. You guys are tough, but we will show our toughness. You are literally... This is literally like the first five seconds of the battle and you're like, you're so tough. I'm like, um, was your, is your Lunoon really overpowering every Pokemon, everybody with Teeter Dance? Like, let's be real. Is he really... Dan is gonna gain some experience. A Scizor! You know what? That's not a bad mod, especially because we have absolutely no way of really hitting this thing. So, Sizzler is actually going to cause a problem. I mean, then again, Sizzler is also one of those Pokemon that are only weak to fire. But, we'll go into Cheryl, because I don't feel like Scizor will do too much to Cheryl. Bam, level 57, his secondary ace. Oh, we are getting close in this battle. Okay, I'm glad that Scizor... Oh, no. Oh, whoa. I thought we did way more damage than we did. Okay. Oh, no. I was thinking Mirror Coat, not Mirror Shot. Okay. You better not pull up with Mirror Coat now. Okay, there's that Citrus Berry. You pop that off. And even if you crit, we're, we stay alive. So, I'm not worried right now. Plus, we're faster than this thing, so... We still live a crit. Oh, Hyper Potion. I should have I should have taken that opportunity to Hyper Potion. I just didn't. Just, you know... I just didn't think about that, but that's my fault. Okay, we live a crit. Hey, we got the flinch. Okay, Scissor's dead. Scizor is gone, guys. That is a threat that's gone. Okay, Cheryl 2244, or 2442. A Blaziken is out next, which means we're definitely swapping into Shelly for that, because I don't want to end, um, end up dying to a Blaziken. This should be his ace, I'm thinking. 58? 53, it's not. Was his ace 57? His ace was supposed to be 58. But Blaze can faint right here, like no doubt about it. And that's a level up, level 58 for Shelly. So this should be his ace, this should be his level 58. It's a Persian. Okay, you spent so much time training up a Persian. But Persian can be scary, because this should be his level 58. No, it's 55. That means this ace was 57, which means I gotta recalculate something. Or this game doesn't take decimal points, and it... Like, it doesn't round up the decimal points. Okay, secret power didn't do anything. Shocking! I didn't see that coming. Of course you didn't. Well, Persian is gonna go down, and we are gonna end Volkner and claim our 8th gem badge! You know what that means. Victory vote up a coming.
I am so hyped for Victory Road. You're not even, you don't even know. <laughs> that was the most fun I've had in a battle since, yeah, I don't know when. I also made it excite. It also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling. It took greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned it. We've and get the beacon badge from Volkner. Yay, we can use Waterfall and put all Pokemon on any level of the me. Also, we've already gotten this TM. We And you literally told me the right thing. You told me it was Kinesis. Oh my gosh, you are the best. You literally told me it was Kinesis. You you actually told me what it was. I'm actually really happy. <laughs> because most games don't. Like how the first room's the only room that's like, yeah. So it's kind of difficult. So now we get to go to Victory Road. And that will be done mainly in the next episode. Partly because I have to figure out what Victory Road is and how to get there. And then we also, there's all, yeah. Mostly because we have to find out where Victory Road is and how to get there. Um... But also, I, th I just think it's off the beaten path, and I just I think it's just up the up the hill and far, far away. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out episode 39. Tomorrow is episode 40, where we're going to get to the end of Go Plateau, or, or get close to it, or the Sinnoh Elite Four. Get close to it, so we can have our Elite Four live stream. Because I always live stream the Elite Four, because, you know, those are gut-wrenching battles. Those are battles where it's basically life or death. It's, are you going to win or are you going to lose? So, again, check out episode 40 coming out tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!